B.G. Tan Chuan Zin was the man behind the Tsunami Rescue Task Force in 2005. The commander led more than 500 SAF humanitarian assistance support group personnel to Malabo, Indonesia. Now at the helm of the National Day Parade Executive Committee, which is more challenging for the military commander? It's very hard to compare. I think they're all different. I think every operation, every project, every event uh, has its own challenges. Um, but they're all meaningful. I think, obviously, in a humanitarian uh, disaster relief effort, I think, obviously, you know, it's about going there to make a difference to the people there. And I guess there, and there are a lot of similarities as well, because I think what we're trying to do here really isn't just a project or you're landed with this big arrow and you've got to deliver something. But we started to take several steps back and ask ourselves, what are we trying to do? And it's about making a difference. I think in our own way, the things that we do within the military, our duties and responsibilities don't stop in terms of from a nation-building perspective. And so what we try to do is really to see how best we can engage all Singaporeans because I think it's... Um, so that many more Singaporeans can be part of the whole process. So I, I wouldn't... I would find it difficult to compare. I think they're all challenging in their own way, but I think what's key is they're all um, just as meaningful. So as a civil servant, how does it make you feel to bring people together for this event? Well, I suppose as a soldier, that's, that's something we do in the army as well. Um, it's very people-centred. Um, because well, some may feel it's very easy being in the army and all the people around and that's kind of true but to do things is easy but to believe in something it's a comp you, you can't mandate you can't order people to believe in things just as in terms of in the military capability wise you know when the button is pressed do you come back um, to give your effort and to really believe in something that's a completely different so you really need to win hearts and minds so in that sense uh, for me and for I think our team uh, which really is not just the people in the military but a lot of our civilian partners as well I think we found it very meaningful to try and do that I think the whole outreach has been enriching because we learned a lot about the different organisations um, but what is quite clear I think looking at the way they've responded and looking at all the participants and all the many hours they put in is that actually a lot of people do care a lot and in their own way, they celebrate, in their own way, they contribute. And I think that's probably the most encouraging thing to see. And from the reactions of the National Day Parade crowds, it certainly seems that the man who is often rallying the troops has managed to rally the hearts of parade-goers with his team.